Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tip. I'm glad you made it today. Today is a really important topic to me uh, because a lot of people don't realize that it's there and uh, it's available. And that is the temporary 100% rating that is provided by the VA. This is a great benefit that uh, if you don't know about it, you could easily miss out on it and the time will pass and it's gone and you know, it's one of those things where it's, I wish I would have known, right? So let's eliminate those I wishes I would have known and all that and hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, helps get the word out there and get it in the hands of those that may need it one day. And that person may be you or it might be somebody else, but hitting that thumbs up and subscribing helps to spread the information. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into it. I do have the VA's website open here so we can just kind of read from it to hear it specifically from the VA and uh, you know but to kind of set the context here the temporary 100% rating is really for a service connected condition that ends up requiring surgery and what will happen will be is let's use the example of um, you have a 30% rating for your knee that's all you have. You're 30% rated with the VA. And now uh, that condition's gotten so bad, you, you now require surgery. You go in for surgery and you have a time period of which you have to recover. Uh, the VA, uh, you can apply for temporary 100% filing that claim. If it gets approved, then what happens is the VA will actually pay you out at 100% rating while you're recovering. And that's kind of the gist of it. But let's read through it here and uh, make sure that we're not missing anything and dive in a little deeper, at least to hear exactly from, from the VA's mouth, essentially, through their website. So here we have on their website, on this specific page, it says temporary disability rating after surgery or cast. Are you recovering from surgery or a disability related to your military service that's left you unable to move? You may be able to get a temporary 100% disability rating and disability compensation or benefits if you have this kind of immobilizing disability. Find out if you can get this benefit. Then it goes on and says, am I eligible for disability benefits from VA? You may be eligible for disability benefits if you've had surgery or received other treatment at a VA hospital, approved hospital, or outpatient center for a disability related to your military service. This would be a service-connected disability. You must meet one of these requirements. If you had surgery, both of these must be true for you. The surgery required a recovery time of at least one month or reports show that the surgery or treatment was for a service-connected disability and the surgery resulted in severe issues like surgical wounds that haven't totally healed, stumps of recent amputations, being unable to move due to being put in splints or cast to help with healing, being unable to leave your house, so known as house confinement, or being required to use a wheelchair or crutches. If you didn't have surgery, then this must be true. You had one or more major joints immobilized by a cast. So those are the, the requirements. So it's either the surgery stuff or the uh, one or more major joints immobilized by a cast. Who is covered? Veterans. What kind of disability benefits can you get? Health care, added compensation payments while you recover, a temporary 100% rating. So those are the three bullet points that VA is outlining on this. How do you get these benefits? Well, you will need to file a claim for disability compensation. And then it has a hyperlink here on how to file a claim. Then it goes in to say, recovery time for either a surgery or immobilization of a joint by cast without surgery requires a temporary 100% disability rating for service-connected disability. The temporary 100% rating may continue for one to three months. 
So some people take longer to um, recover from surgeries. Often age is a factor to that, so it's important to know. Uh, so the rating may continue for up for one to three months, depending on your unique case. You may also be able to get an extension for up to three more months if your case is severe. So that's important to know. So you could really go from one to six months is, is the total time lapse that you could be rated for a temporary 100% rating uh, paying out at that 100%. Then on this uh, VA's website here, there's also an example and I'm gonna read through that example, but I'm also gonna put all this information in the comment section below and into the, well, really in the description below, and I'll put a link in the comments. So the example that the VA put here is, a veteran had a knee injury that resulted in a 30% disability rating. Now, so that's funny, it's the same one I used, and I promise I didn't actually read this. As the knee, prob as the knee problem got worse, the veteran's VA doctor recommended surgery to stop more damage from happening. Since the doctor wouldn't know if the surgery was successful until three months after the veteran's first week stay in the hospital, we granted the veteran a temporary 100% disability rating for three months. So in coordination or collaboration or whatever, with the doctor, the VA was able to ascertain that it was going to be a three-month time frame for the doctor to figure out if this surgery was successful. Now, what they didn't mention in here was uh, any of those requirements, uh, such as, um, now, my guess is that you could say that that's implied. But remember that it said if you had a surgery that you needed to have uh, that that surgery had to have resulted in severe issues. Okay, well, three months would lead me to believe severe issues. So let's look here. Surgical wounds that haven't totally healed, stumps of a recent amputation, probably not that one in this example, being unable to move due to being put in splints or cast to help with the healing, probably or possibly, being unable to leave your house, uh, known as house confinement, probably or potentially, being required to use a wheelchair or crutches, probably. So um, even though it didn't say those things, that's probably implied here in this example. And the communication has happened between the doctor and the VA, so you're able to get that information. But again, these things are fairly short-lived, short-term. So it's important to know that this benefit exists prior to going in for any sort of surgery. So that way you can get everything ready to file that claim and get that communication happening. Uh, they should move fairly quickly on these claims um, given the factor that they're, they're short-lived. So again, one to three months uh, initially with an additional up to three months uh, after if it's a severe situation. So with that, I hope that gives a little more insight on the temporary 100%. And um, you know, if you don't know about it, now you do. And if you did know, hopefully you hit the thumbs up and it's shooting it out to more people within the YouTube space here for us so we can all be aware. Thanks again. I appreciate your support. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.